but earlier this afternoon, like I said, my wife had to go to a funeral. I didn't have time to really do anything, but I wanted to get the corrosion off of the terminals at the very least in case she did have to, be, have to get jumped by somebody or yeah, whatever the case was, in case she had to call not AAA or whatever it is. I'm not sure what that was. But in case she had to call somebody, I wanted to get the corrosion cleaned off. And then the best way to do that, at least that I know, some people use Pepsi or Coke. I'm not too sure. I didn't take chemistry, so I don't know. But baking soda usually neutralizes stuff. Definitely neutralizes chemical burns. Learn that from Fight Club. Nostalgic thumbs up. But regardless, baking soda, it reacts, it neutralizes. What, baking soda is a base? Battery acid is an acid, and it should neutralize it. Either way, cleaned it up, should be good for that moment. But I wanna, like I said, take the terminals off and really clean in there, get it on a good charge, show a battery charger on it, charge it up, load test it, see what we're dealing with before anything. I'm not sure if you can open those batteries up and, and put more distilled water, battery acid, whatever I got lying around. I, I don't really deal with that. Most batteries are sealed where you can't do anything now anyways, so you just buy a new one. I don't want to do that. I'll think of something. I'm really noticing I don't have a spot to work on a car in my garage. That's not cool, because I got too much stuff in the way to really do anything. Had I had space and room to work and everything efficient and organized, I could have gotten that job taken care of right away. I mean, I was doing it rushed because my wife had to go to a funeral, but just the same, it needs to get done. This spot here is a complete mess and I need to straighten it up. Along with this thing here, I have to do something with it, I have to paint it, I gotta get it outside, or I gotta take it apart, I have to do something. If I could organize this scrap wood pile, I would be much better off, I would save a lot of room. If I could put all this scrap wood, some I don't use this every single day, so it could be stored somewhere else. Man, I should have been wearing a dust mask, that's for sure, that's my fault. It's time for a much needed coffee break. I know I might seem just a little bit crazy. But, if you enjoy watching hoarders like I do, you're gonna enjoy watching me do this stuff in my vlog, that's for sure. Let me explain a little bit the method of my madness. This area here was kind of like my survival project area. Pots, pans, tins, cans, plastics, wood, kindling, all that good stuff. I need to clean it up, organize it, put it somewhere else. And then maybe this area can become my wood storage area because I'm not going to use that much this area for anything else. I don't know what else to use it for. This area up here is pretty much wood pallets, summer toys, stuff like that. And then 
a few other things that I just moved up here. But this area needs to be cleaned a lot better because it was getting annoying. I was tripping, stepping on stuff. I didn't like it. This right here, these are my pop cans. My plan is to melt this aluminum down and make it into things. I'm, I'm not sure what yet. If you watch Grant Thompson videos, The King of Random, you'll see him doing this stuff. And it looked pretty cool, it looked pretty fun, looked like a nice project, and I wanted to try it. I just haven't had time to do it yet. Once I get the upstairs organized just a little bit more, then I can organize all of this, get most of this upstairs or in a different spot, so that this area, oh, well, hold on, honey. So that this area can be an area where I can fix things, fix lawnmowers, fix snowblowers, whatever's gonna break down, I can fix that small engine stuff here, and I can have my main area to work on a vehicle if need be or whatnot. Buckets, I use those for maple syrup, random other junk, my old Tonka toys. I should bring these out and play with them. So obviously the upstairs in the barn here, I'm gonna use for storage, but I gotta get it organized so that it's more efficient and I can better use it for storage than the way it is currently. Well, this gives me a little bit more room to work in here, especially if I have to bring a car in here. So we're doing pretty good. I'd like to get a little bit more room so I can have a dedicated spot to work on lawn mowers and snow blowers and stuff. And I'm gonna get that, just maybe not today. Right now, I kinda need to cut my hair. I need to shave. Day's almost over. I get ready for dinner. But we made progress. This way I can pull the car in if I need to work on it. That was my ultimate goal. All right, I am showered and shaved. No, I'm not shaved. Going for that Jason Statham look. I don't know if it's working. So, cleaning up, getting organized, that's my main goal. It's a work in progress. It's gonna take me years. But slowly by surely, slowly by surely, is that a song, is that a singer, or is that an expression? I think I got it right. Either way, slowly and definitely, I'm gonna get everything cleaned up, I'm gonna get everything organized the way I want it, unless I bring more junk in. Then I gotta find new spaces for that junk and figure it out. But it, it, it'll, it'll get there. It, it'll, 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 It'll get there. Trust me, now you can see the progress of it, you know, since it's documented and such. But it, it'll get there. I want, it has to. Otherwise, it's gonna be functioning, it already is functioning chaos or non-functioning chaos. However you wanna take it, there's a method to my madness. What do they say? It, it, there's, there's an expression I'm thinking of. If I think of it, I'll let you know. I need to recap and tell the story of what happened earlier this afternoon. I didn't really have time to vlog it because my wife needed to get to a funeral and I had a, her car is still not starting right. I gotta look at it when it gets home. I gotta throw a good charge in the battery. I gotta clean those terminals up really well, which we'll see in a minute. And I, I really gotta make sure that battery's good. Gotta throw a load tester on it, make sure it's good before we do anything. Uh, it is looking like we need a new battery. Not too excited about that, you know, $80 later and that's an expense I don't wanna pay. But then again, this battery, it's never been replaced, never been changed, and it's like over eight years old. I don't know how long it's supposed to last. And it's probably a crappy battery, so yeah, I just charged that battery up for a while and load tester still says the battery is bad. She can go get a battery. They should install it and everything for her. Get the core charge back and all that. <sighs> what are you gonna do? I'm slowly getting organized and you're actually helping me speed up this timetable here so I can get it done even a little bit faster. Hopefully it doesn't take me years. If I could get it done in the next 30 some days, that would be great before winter so that I can actually have a spot to store the lawn mower and have access to the snow blowers and be able to bring a vehicle in if I need to work on it and such. So you're definitely helping me, what's that guy doing? You're definitely helping me get this project moving a lot faster that, that is for sure you know what that's another thing that I have neglected I do not summarize my winter equi equipment and I do not winterize my summer equipment I need to do that at the very least I run it out of gas but that doesn't help for any of the fuel that's in the lines or at the bottom of the carburetor bowl and such I should put some fuel stabilizer in there maybe tomorrow I have to work on the lawnmower still the, the tires are completely shot I need to get the information off of them so that I can find out if and how much they might cost. Just in case you're wondering, and even if you're not, because I'm excited about it, this book, I'm almost done with it. I got like a hundred more pages to go. And it's at the point to where I would say, like if it was a movie, 
it, it's really close to the last 15 minutes of the movie. You can usually tell what the last 15 minutes of the movie is. It, it's at the height of the excitement. You know, you're just at the top of the roller coaster. You're about to have a crazy ride, and then it's over. It's all wrapped up. That's where I am right now. I'm I, I want to go read right now. I mean, I'm serious. This book. If you grew up in the 80s, I, I mean, I was a kid in the 80s. I wasn't a teenager. But just the same, I love all that old stuff and the references in here. This book is really easy read. So I def I'm not a big reader, but I can't put this thing down and I want to read more. I think this Ernest Klein, I think this was his first book. I don't know if he made more. Hopefully he does, hopefully he did. I have to figure it out because when this is done, what am I gonna do? But getting back to my, are we recording? I can't see, I can't tell. I need a... Well, no, if there was a button on the front flashing at me to make sure I was recording, I'd be very distracted by it. I'm distracted by everything else on the camera. It's like, ooh, shiny things, ooh, shiny things, ooh, shiny things, ooh, look at that, ooh, look at that, that. It's very distracting, very distracting for you, and I try my best to be engaged with you so that you know that I'm talking to you, even though I'm sitting here talking to a camera, talking to myself, but in my head, I know I'm talking directly towards you.